lost, including those of civilians, armed forces personnel and officials of law enforcement agencies. Pakistan has been pursuing a comprehensive national action plan to deal with the menace of terrorism. Pakistan has also made significant progress in anti-money laundering and counter-financing of terrorism domain. We have put in place an elaborate regulatory mechanism to meet the FATF requirements. Pakistan strongly condemns terrorist activities whether perpetrated by individuals, groups or states resulting in violence or threat of violence. We must not allow any country to use terrorism-related allegations as a political tool to malign and victimize entire nations and societies. We must condemn and hold accountable the perpetrators of state terrorism against people under illegal occupation in disputed territories. Islamophobia also needs to be addressed in an effective manner. It is essential to recognize that the freedom of expression has to be exercised with responsibility. It cannot and should not translate into freedom to blasphemy and willfully hurt the sentiments of almost 2 billion Muslims. We must also unanimously condemn the resurgence of fascist tendencies and hypernationalism anywhere in the world and especially in our region. Excellencies, peaceful resolution of long-standing disputes is an essential prerequisite for achieving prosperity, progress and social uplift of our peoples. We strongly condemn unilateral and illegal measures by states to alter the uh, demographics of disputed territories in violation of international law and the UN Security Council resolutions. Such unilateral measures undermine our efforts to create a regional environment of enmity and cooperation and must be resolutely opposed. In this context, Pakistan strongly underscores the importance of upholding and implementing the UN Security Council resolutions. This remains the only way to durable peace and stability in the region. Excellencies, a peaceful and stable Afghanistan is indispensable for regional peace. There is no military solution to the conflict. Pakistan steadfastly supports an Afghan-led and Afghan-owned peace process and will continue to facilitate an inclusive, broad-based and comprehensive negotiated political settlement. It is important to vigilantly, vigilantly guard against the spoilers seeking to undermine the peace process in Afghanistan. It is also vital that the international community does not repeat the mistakes of the past and remains engaged with the post-conflict Afghanistan for its reconstruction and economic development. Furthermore, the uh, repatriation of Afghan refugees should be an essential part of the peace negotiations. Excellencies, in the Southeast Asian and regional context, Pakistan continues to strongly support an inclusive approach with ASEAN centrality as the underlying principle for cooperation. Pakistan also believes that maintenance of peace and security in the South China Sea should be ensured through consultations and negotiations by parties directly concerned. We support China and the ASEAN working out the code of conduct to address the disputed claims. Excellencies, Pakistan remains committed to comprehensively upgrade its overall relationship with the ASEAN. Since becoming partner of ASEAN Regional Forum in 2004, Pakistan has been actively supporting and participating in its programs. Pakistan proudly announces that it will co-host 
the 24th ARF Heads of Defence Universities meeting with